Yeah, how you're feeling can definitely have a direct impact on you physically. Uh, we've all seen it. We've probably all been there also. Being a little down, not having an appetite, losing weight. Um, I think it's really important that when we're when we're in those states, we stick to those routines like we said before and continue to feel our feels and I try to avoid it. And if we need to talk to somebody that can help us get us back on get us back on track with those routines yeah. so that we're not as, and, you know, physically yeah. exhausted from our stress. And and that is like accountability and having um somebody who can help make sure you're staying in that routine even when you're feeling down because I know that there there's times where plenty of times where I feel down and then I'm like, oh, what's the point of doing any of the routines I put in place? Because like now I'm stuck in my emotion and so I'm wallowing in it and I'm not really trying to understand it and I'm not really, really trying to change it. I'm just trying to, you, it's, it, it's a push. It, it's a push, especially in the moment when you feel, but you, that's like the most important time to push through those routines because then you can see it really work. Like, and, and it does. It does end up working. There's no way. I mean, I guess there is a way for some people if you're really not in it. But if you're really in it and you're saying these affirmations and these manifestations and giving yourself positive vibes and listening to positive videos and doing things you love and getting out and working out and working on yourself, it'll be impossible to stay in that term, in that, you know, emotional crisis or turmoil. What would you consider an emotional crisis? I feel like that's any time you're, you're feeling something that you don't, you're not feeling good about. Like, I feel like an emotional crisis, I mean, and I feel like it can range as well. So uh, I could be having a small emotional crisis or a, lar a large one where I already, I'm freaking out. Okay. You know, not necessarily that I've acted on my emotion, but I'm freaking out to yeah. myself at least. So some um, some examples of a mental health crisis or emotional crisis are like depression, trauma, eating disorders, uh, excessive alcohol cons uh, consumption, substance abuse, self injury. Oh, well, when I say you look that up on Google, emotional crisis is something that just came out of my mouth. It's I, a thing. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> when I say that, I don't necessarily mean as deep as depression. I feel like I have I could have an emotional crisis. Like I feel like I probably have one last week. Like, yeah, but some of them are some of the things that we discussed, like some of the signs, like neglect of personal hygiene. Like, so if somebody's depressed or going through something, they might not, you know, shower or brush their teeth as much as you'd like mm -hmm. them to. Weight gain or loss, um, decline in performance at work or school, uh, withdrawal from routine activities and relationships. Mm -hmm. So if you know you experience any of these or see a friend experiencing one of these, they may be in the midst of an, an emotional, emotional crisis. crisis. Yeah. Very true. Mm -hmm. I mean, certain things affect people differently than other That's things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, certain things might be more drastic for one person than they would be for the next. Um, regardless of that, though, like they should all be, you know, handled in the most healthy way possible. Exactly. Um, what do you feel like are some ways to to handle those things? So, well, when you're in, in, in as deep as uh, depression and you definitely see like depression where you're not eating and definitely seek a therapist, seek help, find, talk about it. Even if you don't, or if you, even if you don't want to talk to somebody about it, writing, that's one way I get myself out of an emotional crisis. So it may not be times that I'm, it may not be as deep as a depression, but there's times where I'm feeling what I'm feeling and I'm freaking out about it and I will write, write it out. And this helps me gain perspective it, it helps me get what i feel out and then also gain perspective step back see if things really make sense and um go from there but there's a lot of ways that you can pull yourself out and i feel like the number one thing the number one um the number one way is to be aware to be aware of what you're feeling and understanding why you're feeling it you can't fix something if you don't understand what the problem is very true so I would say that's the number one step mm -hmm. in in it and getting yourself out of it. And once you understand why you're feeling the way you're feeling, what is the solution? How can we fix this? Emotional wellness is also learning from experiences and growing from experiences. So sometimes there may not be something that you can do in the moment, but the next time you won't get yourself back into this or what, you know, mm -hmm. it's a part of your emotional wellness. Yeah.